Now let's go live to Roseanne Teas outside Warren Elementary School in Calumet Heights. Roseanne. Well, Erica, it appears to still be an active investigation out here with police, detectives, and ATF agents still on the scene, although crime tape has been removed from the playground where those children dropped their balls, backpacks, and other belongings to run for cover when those shots were fired. Police say witnesses actually helped them quickly locate the vehicle that fired the shots in the direction of those two former students Dana mentioned who were lingering outside the school. And they are now questioning the people who were in that vehicle, police are. Gunfire was the last thing anyone expected at this end of the year picnic. One aunt of one of the students told us her sister called frantically asking her to get to the school. So she's in a state of panic, of course. This is her only child, so. So she called you and said, get over there. You know, she asked me where I was. I said, I'm down the street coming from the store, so. Right. We got them. I just feel sorry for the other little children. Just your quick they're, reaction? They're a little, they're a little uh, you know, they're a little shaking up. So it's just ridiculous. It's, it's just, you know, it just, it angers me that these little children cannot grow up in a neighborhood and not think that gunfire is the norm. Superintendent Johnson calling that just unacceptable. School CEO Forrest Claypool was here today, and he did want to remind everybody that this is the first school shooting or shooting on school grounds in decades. He also wanted to remind us that school is still one of the safest places to be, but I'm not sure how reassuring that is with the end of the year drawing near and just a couple of days. Live in Calumet Heights tonight, Roseanne Teus, CBS 2 News. Erica? Yeah, certainly some worried parents. Thank you, Roseanne.